just when you thought they couldn't get any stupider. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store, The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the join button so you can join the Tatum Squad. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. Just when you think they can't get any stupider, these BLM protesters, they just keep one-upping each other. Now think about this for a minute. They are storming the suburbs of Seattle. They are storming the suburbs of Seattle, or, or they would call the white neighborhoods in Seattle. They're storming them, claiming that white people need to give up their homes so that black people can go live in them because they've been gentrified. All, all of this BS that just continue to go on, they continue to push this message of foolery, weakness, and lies. Look, man, if y'all didn't make the right decisions, you did not build economic success, this is what happens. You can't, why are you blaming the white people? And white people aren't the only ones a part of the gentrification. People with money are a part of gentrifying. Black people who got money are a part of gentrifying. Indian people who have money, native people who have money, Hispanic people who have money, and white people who have money. Pretty much everybody who has money are a part of the gentrification. So why is it that it's okay for BLM to just attack white people and claim that they're racist and they need to move out? I want you to listen to this clip. There's, there's profanity in it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, if you don't wanna listen to it, fast forward. There's profanity in it because I need you guys to hear very clearly what these fools are saying, how they're conducting themselves, and what they represent. As the guy goes up to the window with his pants sagging, roll the film. I'll make your wallet. You live in a historically black neighborhood. You live in a gentrified neighborhood. Yes. You're part of that gentrification. Yes. So how are you gonna fix it? What are you gonna do to fix it? Because you're part of that gentrification, that racist gentrification. How do you plan to fix it? Because you are living on black people land right now. Yes. I mean, native land, but black people live here too. Yes. So how do you plan to fix it? As a gentrifier, because you are part of that problem. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pure anger. This is not equality. This is revenge and anger. Yelling, I used to live in this neighborhood. What, what are y'all what, what doing? Spend your time fixing the other neighborhoods that's occupied by black folks. How about you spend your time? Why don't you go to your neighborhood and yell? Why don't you go to your neighborhood and build something? Why are you going to the neighborhood where you claim is all white? And the funny thing is, they go to a white person. They're not going to anybody else. If you've ever been to Seattle, Seattle is probably one of the most diverse places that I've ever been to. I've been to the mall in Seattle, get my son haircut in the mall. There's, there's Indian people, there's Asian people, there's black people, there's white. There, I mean, there's all kinds of culture in Seattle. People that don't even, obviously don't live in the United States of America. A lot of people from Canada come to Seattle. Immigrants are in Seattle. Seattle is a melting pot. But they find one white person in the community to be racist against. This is racism. People like you. Just imagine, ladies and gentlemen. Just go down imaginary lane with me. Just imagine if white people who were pushed out of a community by wealthy black people will go to a black man's doorstep, a bunch of white people yelling with bullhorns, go to it and say, people like you People like you, this used to be an all-white area. People like you need to give up your stuff and let us live in here. Cussing them out, saying all kind of derogatory stuff. How would the country rep uh, receive that? Then my question to the world is that why don't we receive it the same way that we would receive it if the roles were reversed and it was white people yelling at a black person? It is just as disgusting to me. If, a, if the roles were reversed and a white, people were, white people were yelling at a black person, then if black people were yelling at a white person. It's just as disgusting. It's just as delusional and disgusting, hateful and evil. But somehow, not us, because we smart. You and I, we smart. All these other people, they're too delusional to look at things in, 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 in a realistic perspective. Gentrification and all this other stuff that people make excuses about year after year after year is not getting you anywhere. 
Nobody cares. Nobody cares about gentrification. You need to be focused on what are you doing in your own community to make your community better? What education have you gotten so you can give back? Because I guarantee you, every single person that has become successful and that is black, 95%, they move out of these inner city black communities. I'm talking about if you look at the big picture all around the country. I'm not talking about somewhere in Atlanta. I'm talking about now, you look around the whole country. When black folks make it, they move out of the black community and go live with the white people. I'm keeping it real. You want me to keep it real, you want me to play games. They leave the community to go live with white people. All these NFL players. Do, do the Chicago Bears live in South South Chicago? No, they don't. Wherever the rich people live in Chicago, that's where the football players live. Or they live in the uptown. They don't live, they don't live in the hood. Now, do I blame them? No, I don't. Because the hood has nothing to do with black, white, green, or orange. The hood is poverty. And then you can move to get somewhere where you're safe and you have things that amenities that they just don't have there. But if you're going to be a complainer, if you're going to be crying about gentrification, then you should be going to these major NFL players and black people who are wealthy and tell them, why don't they come buy up this community? Why don't they come buy up these homes? Why are they not gentrifying their own community? They got the money. No, they don't do that. They go live with the white people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I ain't never seen a, I ain't never seen somebody, NFL or not, that was rich and they go move in the hood to build the hood up. It's not happening. It's not happening. And some of these college kids that, that they know they scared at night when they're in sketchy areas. They know that they don't have their college dorm room or at least their housing. They're not gonna have it in the hood. They're gonna try to stay near campus and they're gonna give all these lectures about how not to you know, try to entertain the homeless, how to defend yourself at night. They go through all these courses and they, and they are open and understanding that these communities are devastated, but they don't go help. They don't live in the community. They just complain. And, and that's where that's why I draw the line. Stop complaining and do something about it. Quit being weak. Quit being a, a phony. Quit being a fraud and go do something about the things that you're complaining. Stop looking to the white man to do something for you today. Stop looking for the white man to make excuses of why you're not progressing. The reason you're not progressing is because you walk around with your pants sagging and you're yelling at people talking about their parents should have swallowed. How, how do you rationalize? How can anybody rationalize with you? And that's your approach. Running around screaming and cussing at people is not going to get you anywhere. You're, you're, you're in a bullhorn. How much you be smart enough to set up a, 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 meet, a community meeting? And talk to the people in the community and say, how do we work together to get more black people in this community? How do we work together to do the things that I want to get accomplished? Do we have a mutual understanding? But they don't want that. They want hatred. They want vitriol. And, and, and a lot of the reason why they're doing this is because they ain't got no job. They sit at home. Uh, uh, the government is paying them money to go out and protest. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. If you are unemployed right now because of COVID, then they pay you unemployment check or they pay, pay you a stimulus check. You use that check to feed yourself and then you go out in the streets and you protest all day. That's what they're doing. If you don't believe it, look at it for your own eyes. I'm glad I don't live in Seattle. I will never live in Seattle unless I'm probably living in Bellevue or living somewhere in the outskirts around Seattle. I will never live in Seattle proper. I just won't do it. I won't do it. Maybe I'll get a house, a, a, a condo out there or something in Bellevue that I'll stay there for like two months out of the year when, when God blessed me enough to be, be make, a, make, make enough money like that. But beyond that, I never go to Seattle. I don't like Seattle. It's trashy, it rains all the time, it's ugly, it's muggy, and the politics suck. Only thing that's good about Seattle is there's some good food, there's some fresh fish, and it's diverse. That's it. Everything else sucks. I'm just keeping it 100. And y'all that live in Seattle, don't get mad at me. Get mad at your city council. Don't get mad at me. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, uh, other y'all, other people that live in King County, y y your stuff probably nice. But Seattle, I've been there several times. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't too pretty. And they need to get their stuff together. Police chief just quit. They had the chairs on. Now black people going to white people community telling them they need to move out because of gentrification. Come on, man. You're going to lose your whole city. Ain't nobody going to want to live there anymore. Anyway, I can talk about this for three or four more hours. I need you to go look at all the other videos that I make. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Is B. Tatum tripping or am I on to something? Visit TatumReport.com. It's the website where you can get 100% verified news, 100% free to you. Go on, subscribe, uh, uh, donate if it's in your heart to do so. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.